Hello and welcome back to tuning in to today's second video doing the ECM Blue 42 day forecast for the UK and Ireland for today's second video. So as always on a Saturday vacation on a Friday, uh, we're going to be having a look at the weather for the next six weeks with the EC Extended. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And uh, we've also, if that was and I've got weekend forecast out of 10 to 14 day coach rates on today as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECM.int and supply my chart as well. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, EC. <laughs> right, well, let's start off then with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly, which takes us from the 9th to 16th of October next week. Up to Gav's birthday eve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With lots of, <laughs> lots of low pressure in the Atlantic and across Northern Europe as well. There's some higher pressure uh, heading up towards Greenland. And we're bringing westerly winds from off the Atlantic a little bit like that. It's looking rather unsettled next week. 500 millibar heights. Let me show below average heights across much of Northern Europe and into the North Atlantic. Above average heights across many southern and west parts of Europe, and low pressure is in the Atlantic as well. Okay, <laughs> coach for anomalies then. Uh, next week, above average, above an average week to come. Oh, notice it's just to our north, it is colder actually. Uh, we have got some cold, cold temperatures close to us. Iceland and into much of Scandinavia uh, as well, through the Norwegian Sea. So we're not far away from cooler conditions. However, uh, for, to the UK and Ireland, yes, we're above average by about one to three degrees above normal. And so our precipitation concern looks rather wetter than normal, actually. So rather above average rainfall there for the UK, Ireland, and up into much of Northern and into Western Europe, too. Right, well, week two will be the 16th to the 23rd of October. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? Oh, well, this, oh, this looks rather unsettled, doesn't it? Quite a lot of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic into northern and western Europe. 500 millibar heights. Wow, 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 wow. We're unleashing the Atlantic here. Low pressure coming all the way from the eastern seaboard of America, right way into northern Europe. That looks properly autumnal, I have to say. Temperature noise still ever so slightly above average, but certainly cooler in uh, week two compared to week one. Only up to a degree above normal, if that. And rainfall-wise, well, hardly surprised all that low pressure in the Atlantic and across Northern Europe is wetter than average. And we're uh, not suffering with that. Uh, you know, uh, on our own, most of Europe looking very unsettled there as well. So, uh, really unleashing some wet and windy weather there, I think, in the third week of October. Week three <laughs> will be the 23rd to the 30th of October. Oh, low pressure beginning to move a little bit further south, but no evidence of any particular high pressure, but could there be some blocking signs to get going here, sending this low pressure south? Would you got to ask yourself what's causing the lows to go south? Why would they begin that? So we've got to be forcing the issue, you would have thought. 500 millibar heights, a little bit of high pressure up towards Greenland, maybe. That might be enough. Start forcing those lows a little bit further south. It's possible. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, <laughs> temperature anomalies, a little bit above average again. Most parts of Europe looking quite warm, though, so that will go against any sort of blocking scenario. And still wet here. Yes, we've still got above average rainfall for the UK, for Ireland, and for much of Western Europe as well. Week 4 will be the 30th of October, the 6th of November. Let's have a look. Oh, a little bit of <laughs> high pressure starting to appear in the Norwegian Sea. Is there low pressure starting to move down into southern Europe? What is happening with the 500 millibar? Oh, 
da, 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 above average heights in the North Atlantic, going back towards wind. Could that start to pull in colder air from the North from the North East? Could we have a switcheroo? We love a switcheroo. Gav's weather bits, don't we? So it could be flipping to something colder. Oh, the temperature anomaly is still ever so slightly above. No one notices it's a bit colder, though. Two hour north. Could we? Could we? Could we? Could we? Seems something a little bit colder here. Precipitation-wise, yes, it's um, a little bit of a dry and smelling average side, actually, which you expect high pressure switching down from the north. Very weak signal, though. Week five will be the 6th to the 13th of November. Here we go. And uh, we've got low pressure maybe coming back in from off the Atlantic in this week. Of there is a weak signal. 500 millibar heights. So showing that high pressure blocking sort of retreating back into the pole. Or the low average heights, low pressure in the Atlantic. That could be transitioning into something wetter again, I think, through that week. Uh, a little bit above average temperatures, and I would suspect if they could be wetter, let's see. Yes, we're going wetter again, look. We've got, uh, we've got, uh, rainfalls returning there. Right, well, finally, week six will be the 13th to the 20th of November. Here we go again. And uh, just a signal for lower pressure to be close to the country and in the Atlantic as well. Uh, the 500 millibar heights looking. So, yes, we've got to blow average heights in the Atlantic. Higher pressure reaching into southern east part of Europe. That could be bringing up the wind from quite a long way south, actually. So, this could be turned not only more unsettled into middle of November, but also very mild, too. Above average temperatures continuing and uh, rainfall wise, yes, we still see above average rainfalls close to and into the west so the wet autumn goes on i don't know about you i don't know about you but all in all i reckon this all looks rather good for the gas weather this autumn <laughs> autumn forecast i have to say which was for a wet but warm autumn well we're certainly out the warmth we've not necessarily had the wet yet but there's still time for the autumn forecast to get back on track. And this looks pretty good to me. Um, <laughs> with what I... <coughs> oh, blimey, I'm letting make myself cough now. No, this looks pretty good to me, though. With what I... Uh, on the uh, autumn forecast, so we shall see. That was just one run of one model. Could look completely different when we look at this again next week with a European focus on uh, Tuesday, and then we'll do it all over again with the Ireland and UK focus next Saturday once more. We'll be back later on with your weekend forecast, and there'll be a 10 to 14 day of turning up too. Keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all now. Event to watch you. Bye for now.